Hi, we're the Romanskis. We're part of the Romanskis. Should I talk Where's about the kids? Mean? This weekend we are headed to Paducah, Kentucky. Having the COVID blues, mm -hmm. we've been locked inside all summer and we thought it would be nice just to take a quick little getaway with the kids. Chose Paducah kind of at random. We were actually looking for a cabin near a lake in Kentucky and this condo kind of popped up out of nowhere on Airbnb. And it looked really cool because it's not something that we've really ever stayed at before. It's in a historic building and it's right downtown so it, it just looked pretty cool. So, And it's only 30 minutes from the lake so we're still near the lake should we want to go there. So at the time of filming we are in the midst of COVID-19 global pandemic. Earlier this week I went on to the Paducah Convention uh, and Visitors Bureau website and had a ton of information there, especially related to COVID too. Um, they've got an updated events calendar, but essentially all the bars and the restaurants are open at 50% capacity, but we still feel more comfortable doing takeout at this point. So while eating out is one of our favorite things to do, um, we're not gonna be eating in the restaurant, but be taking it home instead. So that's the setup for this weekend. We are getting ready to leave here in an hour or so. So we'll see you guys in Paducah. Doing a pit stop. We made it about an hour and a half. Oh my God. We're here. We're walking. Bathroom. Oh my gosh, it keeps on going. This is the bathroom. Cool, you guys. What do you guys think? So what's very interesting, we discovered, in addition to the sound machines being exactly like what we have at home, they also have our fan that we have in our bedroom. <laughs> so it's truly like we're- It was meant to be. The comforts of home are here in Paducah. Okay, ready? I'm trying to get something good and different and nobody wants to experiment and try something new from Pizza by the Pound. Do you mind? Not at all. Please continue. This is, this is why I don't take like do stuff. No. I'm thinking about going with the taco pizza, even though I will be the only one eating it. Alright, are we ready to call it in? I need to think about it some more. Yeah. Give me one more minute. Okay, we are at Pizza by the Pound. Burger and fries for Avery. Oh my oh, lord. Wow, thank you. And Daddy's Taco Pizza. <coughs> and Mommy's Cheese, if anybody wants some. Yeah. All right. We're rating Pizza by the Pound in Paducah. Location, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna say two and a half. Cause it wasn't that close to the apartment, but it wasn't like super far. Food quality. Food quality. Taste. And taste, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Pizza sauce reminded us of like a ragu type of sauce. It was good, but definitely not anything mind blowing. The best part about it is the crust. The crust is like that thick and you don't even need breadsticks 
if you don't want them. They're really good, but the, the crust is enough to act as a breadstick. Value, I'm gonna say three or four out of five. It was expensive, but that's only because we all got completely different meals. If we had just gotten like a large pizza and breadsticks like we normally do, I think it would have been awesome on value. It was expensive. It was over 50 bucks, which is, uh, you know, over almost half of our budget in one meal. So overall score. Overall score, I'm gonna say four out of five. Overall score for me is a three and a half. Best part about the pizza, I think, is the crust. last night. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On our way to go get breakfast. Mom is super excited for her calamity. <laughs> Whatever that is. It's gravy, biscuits, chicken strips, eggs, hash browns. Tummy ache on a plate. It's gonna be good though. It's a beautiful day. It's warm and humid already. Waffles, eggs, potatoes, or that might be. Oh my goodness. Where are oh, the chicken that. tenders? Oh. The side bread pudding. Oh, this smells good. Waffles. Great. We're doing Gold Rush Cafe. Location was perfect. We could have walked, but we were ding-dongs and drove. So I would give that a five out of five. Food quality, four and a half. Borderline five. The biscuit uh, sandwich that I had, the biscuits were super fresh, obviously made from scratch. What were your thoughts on breakfast this morning? Great. Thinking about all the chicken strips you've ever had in your whole life, mm -hmm. how would you rank these chicken strips? Two out of ten. Is this the first time you've had chicken strips for breakfast? Yeah. Overall, three out of five. The bread pudding waffle also, I think, was... That alone is a five. Uh, it was so good, and there was like a cinnamon butter or something that it came with too, so... Really, I, I'm actually, as I talk through it, leaning more towards a five for food quality. Overall, I'd say the experience was a four and a half. Would definitely go back there for breakfast. So far, our best meal in Paducah. Hey, good morning. So we are headed to Kentucky Dam Village State Resort Park. It's a mouthful. That is a mouthful. Uh, there's supposed to be a really cool dam. Yep. And there's supposed to be a beach. And yeah, we're just gonna explore the state park for a little bit before it gets too hot. So what we have behind us is the Kentucky Dam, famous for being in Kentucky and being a dam. We already lost the teenager. She got her one photo and checked out. reviews on our shopping excursion.
the review of the Airbnb condo that we stayed at this weekend. And the first thing we'll talk about is location. If you're wanting to stay in downtown Paducah, this would be the ideal location. And I'd give it a five out of five. I would give the owner a five out of five as well. When I initially found the Airbnb, I uh, sent a message asking if there's Wi-Fi. Um, that's something that's really important to us and it wasn't clear to me from the listing. He literally got back to me within 10 minutes. The day we were checking in, he sent pictures of like the alleyway and what door to go in and which door was ours and the keypad. Tons of great instructions. We had no trouble getting in. Say, so, yeah, five out of five. The communication with the owners have been great. Comfort, I would give it a five out of five for sure. I would say this is probably one of my top three Airbnbs that I've ever stayed at. I thought the bed was comfy. The kids like their beds. I had a rough night the first night. Yeah. But the second night was a lot better. There's plenty of room in this condo or loft or whatever you want to call it. How about safety? Safety. Uh, I would also give that a five out of five. Um, there's a code to get into the exterior door of the building. And then there's a code on the door as well so we didn't have to mess with keys. Value score, I'll give it um, a four out of five. I think we got a lot for our money. I mean, it is a little more expensive than what we would normally do around 250 a night. Yeah. But it was definitely worth it. Overall score, okay. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. And the half that I'm taking off would probably not apply to most people. However, I was a little, I guess, disappointed that there's no cable. There is Apple TV and Netflix, which is fine, but I like to just be able to flip the TV on the news and that wasn't really an option. Mm -hmm. Also, there were no TVs in the bedrooms, which is something that I like. Like when I'm headed to bed, I like to watch TV for a little bit. But definitely was not a deal breaker and it would not stop me from staying here again. That was, that was just one little extra amenity that I personally would have liked to have. Other than that, this place was really great. Yeah, so I'd give it a four and a half as well. My only knock is the bed and that was more of just a personal thing. Everyone else, as you heard, had a good sleeping experience. But overall, would definitely recommend if you're ever you need to stay in, in downtown Paducah for whatever reason, definitely uh, check this place out.